Ni Kwate Ou is a Ghanaian filmmaker who had the rare opportunity of seeing looted artifacts from different African countries by the British. He didn't believe what he saw when he entered the basement of the British Museum some 50 years ago. Among the treasures he saw were those stolen from the Asante in his palace when the British demolished the royal palace with explosives and stole ornaments during the 1874 Sagrinti War. It was like a time travel. When I left the office of the curator and we went downstairs into the basement, 50 feet under the ground, when we landed in the basement, the aroma of our ancestors, I mean, I'm talking about all these artifacts that has been hidden. You know, there's an aroma that, you know, came and overwhelmed me. You know, I mean, I could smell, it's almost like they say, oh, welcome, our great, great, great grandson. You are most welcome. Spiritually, I felt the presence of our ancestors. One and a half century later, the stolen treasures from the palace are returning to their original place after an agreement between the Menshia Palace and UK government. The Fowler Museum in California has delivered seven precious items which will be on display on Thursday. Those things that were taken away from our forefathers many, many years ago have now found its way home. And somewhere around April and May, we'll be receiving more items from Britain also. The mere thought of returning the treasures to its roots is sight near Kwate. It's a step in the right direction because, I mean, imagine 150 years later they will come, you know, but how significant are these artifacts to the Asantis? People are going to follow up and go to the museums to observe what has been returned. And this is of economic importance because people will pay to go and look at the items which have been brought back. More often than not, we remember some of these things which are of spiritual significance. If it is being returned, it brings us a lot of happiness, physically, mentally, and spiritually. I know I'm going to have the opportunity to see something that was taken from my homeland 150 years ago. It means a lot to not just him, but all of us, because we were not present, but we read about it, we heard about it, and we've seen pictures, and it will be a great opportunity for us to see it in person, physically, what the objects will look like. The Asante gold artifacts are the ultimate symbol of the Asante royal government and are believed to be invested with the spirit of former Asante kings. In May this year, Santini will mark 25 years of his ascension onto the golden stool. All the returned 37 treasures are expected to be displayed during the anniversary. The collections ranges from the original sacred Mpomponsio state sword dating back to 300 years to other ornaments of silver and gold. Ibrahim Abubakar, TV3 News, Kumasi.